But uh, yeah, I did. I had a near-death experience on my way here. Yeah, uh, I flew Spirit Airlines. Any other survivors? <laughs> a couple. Yeah, I mean we, we get it, right? The landing was a yeah. Oh, woo. yeah. That's how I leverage that. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like a roller coaster. Oh, right? They don't give a fuck either. No. But we get it, right? Yeah, we got to save money. It's a cheap flight. Spirit's cheap. 35,000 feet in the air. That's why I want a penny pinch, right? <laughs> but if you give me some off-brand Starbucks coffee, we're going to have a fucking problem. Priorities. Now, if anyone's never flown Spirit Airlines before, just picture yourself flying in a metal lawn chair that doesn't recline, themed a black and yellow caution tape. They didn't even give me a seatbelt. I guess that costs extra. And that's how they get you. Everything's an upgrade. Luggage is an upgrade. Drinks are an upgrade. Oxygen masks are an upgrade. Yeah, I know. I just don't feel safe. I don't feel safe on that shit. You know that feeling when you haven't changed the oil in your car in like a really long time? I went to the, I, I looked in the cockpit. They had a dual check engine light was on. I was like, who made this plane? The wrong brothers? You guys are awesome for laughing at that. We got some, some anti-pun people over here. She shook her head. She's like, ah! Oh, <laughs> the wrong brothers. <laughs> but I did. I had, I had a true story. True story that happened to me. My my traumatic story with spirit. I was flying. Uh, I was flying up north for the holidays, and it was a horrible storm. This this past holiday, every airline was canceled, except for Spirit. <laughs> Spirit's like, eh, I think we could do this. I'm like, huh? Yeah, well, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. All these other airlines selfishly worrying about her safety. Not spirit, they take risks. We're about to land in Rochester. I kid you not, this happened. The plane shot straight up in the air like a rocket ship. Everyone's freaking out. I had a guy praying next to me with a rosary app on his phone. And I heard something I've never heard on it. Uh, the, the captain came on. I swear to God, this is what he said. He said, um, this just did. We tried to touch down in Rochester. Uh, we're not going to try that again. <laughs> but we are low on fuel. So uh, we're, we're going to make an emergency land in Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, weather's not any better there, but uh, we have to land. So uh, just hold on tight and brace for landing. That's the spirit. <laughs> so I don't fly spirit anymore. Now I switch to Allegiant. Oh. <laughs> I got three flyers right here in the audience. Everyone else is like, what is this? So if you don't know of Allegiant, Allegiant is just spirit painted blue. That's, that's all it is. Which is smart because at least it blends in with the sky before. <laughs> And my one buddy's just like, you got to get off of the spirits and the allegiance. I fly Breeze Airlines. It's a brand new airline. Have you heard of this? Yes. Oh, man. all right. Well, we can hang out later. You know what I mean? We'll exchange our frequent flyer numbers, ma'am. It seemed like we should travel together. We had trauma together. No, but Breeze Airlines, another budget flight. But this one gives you like first class seats. Uh, everything is included. Luggage is included. My friend's like, yeah, luggage is included. First class seats. I'm like, this is great. What's the catch? He goes, there's no catch. I'm like, there's a catch. No. I'm like, I know what the catch is. You're not going to land safely. Like, that's what's going to happen. He's like, why would you say that? I'm literally flying tomorrow. I'm like, are you flying with Breeze? He goes, yeah. I'm like, well, let me know how it goes. Like, uh, I mean, I haven't heard from him, but... Yeah. <laughs> 